Okay, everybody, welcome back. Today's review is sponsored by Tubin One. So previous videos, I have pronounced it as to be number one uh, and a few other things, but I uh, finally figured out the correct pronunciation. It's Tubin One is the company that makes it, all right? So this is a docking station. This is the UDS 041M as in Mike. This model specifically designed for MacBooks. So let's go ahead, open this up and see what we get in there. Okay, so you get a power adapter. This one pumps up to 100 watts. So by plugging this into your docking station and your laptop into your docking station, you'll be able to power your laptop, no problems. Okay, this is the host cable. This cable goes from the dock to your MacBook. As you see, it's dual on both. So, and that's just because the amount of power that you're gonna be pushing through into your laptop. That's why it's a dual versus a single. And then we have the dock itself. So when we look at this side, we have two USB-Cs. Flipping it around, we have a micro SD and a SD card reader slot. Also, you have your microphone in and out and a power button. On the other side, we have two USB-C 10 gigabyte per second ports and also a locking port in case you wanna lock that down on your desk or wherever it is that you're gonna use it. Obviously, your laptop does not lock into this, so you're not necessarily securing your laptop, but your dock itself. All right, moving on to the front or back side, whichever way you wanna look at it. Uh, you have your ethernet port in case you want to use ethernet. You also have two display ports, uh, HDMI or display one is an HDMI one. Display two can be HDMI one or DP. You have two USB-A 3.0 slots, a USB-A 10 gigabyte per second slot, your power distribution, which brings power into the dock itself, and then that double host cable uh, slot that we talked about with the, with the host cable. So when it comes to build quality, Good, solid, solid build quality, just like all the products that they ever sent me to test. And sorry, if I didn't mention it in the beginning of the video, this video is sponsored by Tubin One. Uh, they're not providing any compensation, but they did provide the product free for me to test. And as usual, um, it's based off of my opinion, not anything that they've told me. So another thing that makes this difference from some of the other docks is the ability to be able to do dual monitors on these. Uh, there is some disclaimers with it. I'll go over those in a second. But if you've watched any of my other videos on these docking stations, uh, historically, their products required you to install DisplayLink, which involved screen recording of uh, one of your monitors to be able to use the dual monitor setup on it. Uh, there was reports that when using this function, you weren't able to stream on, say, Netflix or, or those kind of services. Uh, I did not run into that problem, uh, but there were reports that the website picked up that you were screen recording that it wouldn't play the content. So that is completely out the window now with this docking station because you do not have to install any screen recording products for it to work. All right, so let's talk about, oh, let me go through those disclaimers on the screen size or not screen size, but dual screen monitors. And I'm just gonna go ahead and read it verbatim. This product is designed for Mac OS laptops only. If your app laptop uses the Windows operating system, please purchase our USO or, or UDS 041 Whiskey model to expand a dual screen. So if you're a Windows person, you're, the same version of this is the UDS 041W as in Whiskey. Now, to expand to dual screens, the product can only extend to one screen for MacBook with M1, M2, M3 chip as such as the MacBook Air M2 2022, MacBook Air M1 2020, MacBook Air 13 inch M3, MacBook Air 15 inch M3, MacBook Air 15 inch M2 2023, MacBook Pro 13 inch M1 2020, MacBook Pro 13 inch M2 2022, MacBook Pro 14 inch 2023 M3 chip. For MacBooks with Intel chips M1 Pro, M1 Max, M2 Pro, M2 Max, M3 Pro, or M3 Max, this product can extend to two screens, such as the MacBook Pro 14 inch 2023 M3 Pro or M3 Max, MacBook Pro 14 inch 2023 Apple MT Pro, and the MacBook Pro 13 inch 2022 
Thunderbolt 3 ports. And of course, if you have any questions, you can just reach out to them at support at, and I'll spell it out for you, T-O-B-E-N-O-N-E.com, and they'll let you know whether or not it works. So my laptop that I did all the testing on is a 14-inch MacBook Pro Apple M1 Max chip. Uh, 2021. So for your screen resolutions for dual screen, you can go up to 4K 30 hertz, or excuse me, 4K 60 hertz using HDMI 1 and 2. Okay, so setup super simple. You'll take your your box, bleh, your dock. Obviously, this end would go into the wall, and then this end would go into that power distribution spot. And then with your host cable, you'll take that, plug it in on this side. And then on your MacBook, you would find the side that has the two USB-Cs next to each other. So on the 13 inch, that's only gonna be on the left side. Uh, and your, let me just unplug this and I'll just show you. So, like I said, you'll take your side that has the two USB-Cs and plug it in as such. So, super easy setup. Literally plug and play. Uh, now, like I said, I explained what kind of laptop I did the testing on. I always like to check the ports to see what kind of speeds we get out of them. And uh, it's a lot to cover, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my phone where I have some notes on that. So bear with me. Okay, so I used the, uh, an SSD drive with a USB-C connector, and here's what I got. So when I plugged that drive straight into my MacBook, my read speed was 380.4 megabytes a second, and my write speed was 200, excuse me, 424.2 megabytes per second. Now, when I stuck it in the dock uh, on the USB-C one on the side, so that's gonna be these ports here. Uh, for read speed, I got 525.8 megabytes per second for read and 489.0 megabytes per second for write. And on the other one, I got 525.2 megabytes per second for read speed and write speed was 525.3 megabytes per second. So moving around to the front, uh, we're looking at the USB-A ports now. So obviously my MacBook only has USB-C ports, uh, so I'm not able to test it in a USB-A port, so I, I have no comparison for that. Uh, but for the one that's rated at 10 gigabytes per second, so that's going to be the one that's colored red, I got a 38.8 megabytes per second for a read speed and 18.1 megabytes per second for a write speed. And for the USB-A 3.0s, which are going to be the two blues, on the first one, <laughs> excuse me, I got a 38.8 megabytes per second for a read speed and 41.6 megabytes per second for a write speed. And in the second one, I got 38.7 megabytes per second for a read speed and 16.1 megabytes per second for a write speed. Then we moved on to SD cards. Uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me, sticking the SD card directly into the MacBook, we got a read speed of 175.0 megabytes per second and a write speed of 193.4 megabytes per second. And then sticking it in the dock, which is gonna be on this side next to the power button, we got a read speed of 189.6 megabytes per second and a write speed of 183.6 megabytes per second. And then lastly, looking at the micro SD slot, obviously cannot natively plug that into the laptop. So I did use a micro SD to SD adapter, the kind that usually comes with those micro SD adapters when using the speed test on the Mac. And I got 89.4 megabytes per second for a read speed and 91.2 megabytes per second for a write speed. Now, when I put the micro SD directly into the dock, I got 128.2 megabytes per second for a read speed and 78.7 megabytes per second for a write speed. So as you see, there was no speed loss. And in a lot of cases, there was some speed gain using the dock versus directly into the computer. 
So some things that I really enjoy about this is uh, number one, like I said, super great build quality on it. Uh, and the other thing is, is that you don't have to have power plugged into this to be able to use it. Obviously, uh, the only thing that will happen is you're not going to be powering your laptop. But if you are traveling and you are using this for extra peripherals, you don't have to have a wall outlet to... This doesn't have to be powered to work because uh, the, the computer is going to provide enough power to it for it to be able to utilize all these slots down here. So that is a huge bonus. Only thing I'm not a huge fan on is... Uh, you know, most everything is moving over to USB-C now. Uh, so I think we probably could have dumped a, uh, at least one of the USB-A slots to give some more USB-C slots for it. Uh, because I'm taking up two ports on my MacBook by using that cable, the host cable. Uh, and then I'm getting two USB-Cs here. So I'm really not gaining any USB-C ports by using this dock. Just some USB-A ports. Uh, and then, of course, the dual monitor function. So definitely would prefer to have some additional USB-Cs. Um, also, I've switched over to CF Express cards uh, type A on my Sony cameras. So I uh, would love to see CF Express type uh, slots on here. I know that would drive the price up a lot uh, just because I've seen how more expensive CF Express card readers are over just regular micro SDs. So, but I'm greedy, so I would love to see it. And of course, the other pro that I mentioned earlier is just the fact of being able to use it without Display Link, which is that screen recording software. Like I said, it worked fine for me as far as streaming anything, but just just knowing that your screen's not being recorded, whether you're tin tinfoil hat wearer or whatever the case may be. Uh, just love that it now works without using DisplayPort. Okay, other than that, that is going to wrap it up. If you have any specific questions about the dock or the company, please do not hesitate to put that down in the comment section. I'll answer it to the best of my ability. The company's really responsive, so if I don't have an answer for you, I'll reach out to them. They have amazing customer service. Uh, they have warranties on all their product. I think it's let me see if it mentions it here. If I remember correctly, it's like a one-year warranty on everything. So it doesn't call it out here, but, um, you know, their big model over there is the only question they can't fix is the question that isn't asked. So they're super responsive over there. Absolutely great company. Not just because they let me test their stuff, but just in general, they're, they're super responsive. So highly, highly, highly recommend if you're looking for a dock, check out their products even if it's not this one that we reviewed today they got i i have docs on all of my computers from them uh and have even given a lot of the docs away that i've tested and there's never been any complaints about them so other than that if there's anything else that you'd like to see reviewed on this channel please put that down in the comment section below also as usual if there's something specific you want tested on there please include that in, in that post so that way i can try to get it done during that video other than that we'll see you next time Bye.